Hey there. Sorry, guys. You know my channel got hacked a while ago. Wendy, how you doing, love? You well? Damien's robbing his ass with £20 notes. That's how we roll. Comfy living, baby. Not going to lie to you, boys. Nearly had the first accident in Bentley. Got me crutches out of the van. Fucking, I always leave the van in gear. So these three aeroplanes are flying in, in synchronisation because I'm near an airport. So I pulled the camera out. Fucking didn't notice the van started rolling forwards. Then jumped in the van. Fucking went the wrong side for the handbrake. French motors are on the right side. Oh, for fuck's sake. I got within about 18 inches to two foot. I was able to yank the handbrake up. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't need that. I don't know if the fender will come over or if he wants to be on cam or not, but I'll call him over. Excuse me, mate. Come here a minute, please. You just seen what happened with my van, yeah? Just to let you know you're not on camera, but I've got a little YouTube channel. We're even a little, a little bit littler now. But uh, <laughs> you see what happened with my van there, didn't you? From what your eyes, tell me what happened. <laughs> you roll forward. I rolled forward. The van rolled forward, right? I've got, I'm waiting on hip operation as well, so I can't even walk proper. <laughs> so this guy, bless him, he come and pick the crutches up for me. And I was, what, 18 inches away from the back of that van, I reckon? At least. At least. If not closer. Yeah, oh, thank you for your help anyway, no mate. Worries, buddy. Nice one, mate. Check out my channel, yeah, Comfy Living. Comfy Living? Yeah, yeah, on YouTube. Morning, mate. All right, thank you, mate. Thank you, Top lad. Philip Schofield here. I'm a firm believer that every second counts. And with WeBuyAnyCar.com, you could find out how much your car's worth in under 60 seconds. Leaving you more time to do whatever you want to do. Stuck in traffic, on the way down to the Keys with Jamie to get a bit of breakfast. That's dinner, boys. Bon appetite. I'm going to let that cook for a couple of hours and have a little siesta. So Jamie phoned me about 10 o'clock this morning to go for breakfast. The, now, the time now, rather, is 4 o'clock. So I'm going to go and pick him up. We're going to have a bit of dinner. Dude, that's one big spider, man. He's pretending to be a daddy long legs. It's past four. Yeah, you said beer for four. And you're picking me up for breakfast? Yeah. And I phoned you at 10 this morning. Yeah, but someone's got to work, mate. Work in your life. Shut the fuck up, get in. Where are we going? Not going Put some shoes on, dude. Why ain't you got your socks on? I'm at breakfast and dinner now. Where's your socks? <laughs> Guys, we can't be turning up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you know what I mean? Wake and bake. 4 20, baby. So, Jamie phoned me about 10 o'clock this morning to go for breakfast. The, now, the time now, rather, is 4 o'clock. So, I'm going to go and pick him up. I think these will fit Jonah. I'll get them on. <laughs> Seriously. I've just got Jamie in a wind up. He's walking down the charity shop. I know he's shot. But, you know, you just don't know what he's done. He's got in the back of my van. He goes, you got any tissue? I went, yeah, it's in the back. He's got a spicy arsehole. That's all I'm saying. A spicy fucking wet arsehole. Fucking dirt in this man. It really made me vomit. I, I'm, I'm standing outside the van because I don't want no red eye or nothing. You know what I'm saying, ladies. Filthy bugger. Ten pound for that? Are you serious? Look at them bad boys. They've seen some action. Dead women's shoes, mate. That's what that is. Shop's full of it. Here's my old auntie's house. The house that I was brought up in. If you look just down there, just behind that tree, is where Jamie lived. And that's where I lived. See the new roof? Yeah, someone died in there, God love him. Yeah, burnt to death. Yeah, my auntie lost her house. That's why she's in a care home. Rest in peace, Jack, I did. You was a top lad. Good night, brother. Take care, God bless. Belgian buns, Mr Gallagher. Belgian buns. 
Oh, for goodness, we've got here. Pizza. Loads of it. The slow cook a bit of this stir fry business and chop up a bit of that beef there. Look at that. Oh, no. Yeah, chop up that. Have a beef stir fry. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Have a bit of a uh, beef stir fry. Look at that beautiful bit of meat, boys. And not only that, I made my own black bean sauce. There's a little apple turnover for myself because I've been a good boy today, obviously. There's one for me, auntie. I'll go and see it tomorrow. I'll give it that tomorrow. What's that? Shit. So slow cooking me uh, bit of veg. Well, what I've done, I've sliced up a bit of the beef. Actually, no. I'll add that first. No, I won't. I'll add the beef first, yeah. And that can marinate in the steam. Stick the beef on like that. Just tuck them in at the sides because I want that covered. Well, I'm just going to plonk that on the top. I'll tell you what, I'll get a bit of water on so it's all right. Get all that nice black bean goodness out. What, you don't think they don't do that though in Chinese? You must be mad. Right, what else we've got to go in? Oh, I've sorted the pepper dick, so I had to do that off camera because I couldn't obviously do that. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I fucking can't even speak. I'm that hungry. Bon appetit, guys. Stir fried beef with black bean sauce, bit of veg, comfy style. Thanks for watching, guys. Oi, Siv, look after yourself, dude. Take care, Roller. Oi, nice one for giving me a shout-out, guys. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.